Hey Capricorn, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is for anyone with Capricorn placements or anyone else. It's a two week reading. It's for the next two weeks, but it could resonate at any other time. This could resonate now or it could be a heads up to stuff that's coming later on down the line, but you were meant to see it at this time. Multiple messages could come out during this reading, multiple storylines right till the very last second and even beyond. Sometimes I come back on camera because a message comes out after I click off and it happens all the time. Uh, like I said, multiple things could come out till the very last second, even different storylines for different people. Um, my readings are predictive, so keep that in mind. All right, let's go. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know? Capricorn reading, what is most important that we should know about this reading? The coffin. All right, so something's coming to close. This is a number 10 card as well. What do we need to know? Something closing out. What's important that we should know for Capricorn or anyone else who's guided? There's a change coming. Change is going to do you good. You got a 9 and a 10 card. Wow. And you have the 5 card, which represents the change. And look at it. It's the 10 of Pentacles for me, but it's a number 5 card, really, in this deck. Uh, this is the Gilded Revelry Lenormand and the Kipper deck blended together that I like to use together. All right, at the bottom of your deck, you have the woman holding the rose. All right, something's going on. There's definitely change, change, end of cycle, end of cycle. Your cycle is closing out. There's a change coming in. This looks really positive. Um, the woman's holding the rose, first of all. We see something that's changing, but it's closing out an old cycle. And it, the change is going to do you really good because it's here with the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, this card for me is like the Ten of Pentacles. It has a rainbow going through it. This always um, indicates good change for me with the change card, right? So two change cards, but right smack dab in the middle of a woman and ending a cycle. All right, let's find out. We're using uh, the Gilded Royale and we're going to be using the, um, oh gosh, it's stuck. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. The Wheel of the Year. We're going to be using the Wheel of the Year and the Gilded Royale. All right. Oh, and because these are two week readings, we go all the way to our after tarot, which I know everybody loves. So we'll be seeing the next step as we go into the following week. All right. Really cool. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this reading? This reading's for Capricorn or anyone else who's guided. And like I said, it's a predictive reading. Anything could come out right till the very last second. Could resonate now or later. Capricorn reading for anyone who's guided whenever they're guided. All right, let's do it. What do we need to know? Well, came right out. Okay. Yeah. New opportunities coming in. Page of Pentacles. This is new energy coming in. These are slightly longer than our bigger than our normal weekly readings because they are two week readings. What do we need to know here? What are the messages? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Okay. We've got three. We've got the King of Wands reversed. We've got the Page of Swords reversed, and we have the Devil reversed. Oh, my goodness gracious. So, Capricorn, it's like you're releasing someone. Um, this could be someone you don't trust or someone that... Um, I want to say someone who lied, possibly, or someone who you found out something about. That's what I'm feeling. What else do we need to know here? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Look at this. Look at this. We've got the um, Hermit here. We've got Capricorn's card of the King of Pentacles here. And we've got, and you're right here with the Hermit. And we also got the um, Five of Wands reverse. Can I get one more card here? You could be dealing with... Um, I feel like this is your energy, but you could be dealing with another Capricorn or a Virgo or even a Taurus. Um, definitely, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a um, Gemini. And I couldn't think of Gemini for some reason. Like, it was taken out of my head. So, I feel like maybe not so much, but maybe for some of you. Okay. All right. So, wow. 
so much going on in this reading too many people for sure you've got the king of wands reversed you got the king of pentacles reversed and you have the queen of swords reversed here oh my gosh and the king of swords reversed <laughs> look at this king and queen of swords reversed someone is healing here um with the four of swords or we're on a break or we're taking a break or we're not speaking to somebody i feel like you're not speaking to somebody because you have um the king and queen of swords with the four of swords and you also have the page of swords you could be having a problem with family and the reason i feel like it's family is because it's king and queen of swords and baby of swords that's what it feels like to me you know the page of swords um, now the gen the gender doesn't matter the signs don't matter but what I really hear see here is like something going on where we're taking a break from all the drama I'm done with this drama I just can't deal with it I'm taking a break from it or I'm releasing it look at how we've been holding on to something could be holding on to a grudge and then we decide to release it um, this devil reversed um, but that's your energy as a Capricorn. So it might just be that you are trying to get clarity on something. So all these cards coming through of Queen of Swords reversed, King of Swords reversed, Page of Swords reversed, they all could be a lack of clarity because you also have right next to your energy, the Hermit trying to get clarity on the snake down here. So let's just get into it and see what the heck's going on. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know? And I don't know where that King of Wands comes in there. I do feel like this is a whole big group of people. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Capricorn reading, what do we need to know? What are the messages? We know that change is coming into the situation. We know that we are definitely releasing something. What do we need to know? Capricorn reading. One more shuffle. Capricorn reading. I feel one more shuffle. Capricorn reading. One more. All right. Let's take a look at the King of Wands reversed. Why is he here? What do we need to know? King of Wands in the reverse. Capricorn reading. Four of Wands. So this could be around your home, your family, or your stability in some way. I want to take another look at the King of Pentacles, uh, or a look at the King of Pentacles reversed. Oh, it almost came out, but it went back in. King of Pentacles reversed. What do we need to know? Okay. The moon and the two of... Nope. The lovers reversed. So trying to see something about... In this deck, the lovers is about two people that are hand-fasted together. So this is someone who I feel some kind of a partner. All right. And see how that hermit here is trying to figure something out there's something around partnership that you're just not sure of and you really are trying to get clarity on this um i want to take a look at this hermit please what about the hermit and i don't care about the genders here with this eight of pentacles this could be definitely a business or work situation any kind of business or work situation you're trying to understand something about a partnership or they are one of you is if it's not you it looks like a virgo um tell me about the um what is the page of swords doing over here in reverse what do we need to know about that wow new beginning and look at the queen of swords behind that so what i really feel is there's an opportunity look at this princess of swords behind that all right, so that's the same thing we started out clarifying. Page of Swords, Princess of Swords, they're the same exact cards, but, you know, they call them princesses in this card, in this deck. And look at how she's trying to figure something out. She's trying to get to the bottom of something and see something clearly, Queen of Swords. So you, and look, behind that is the Four of Pentacles, which you have over here. Repeat, repeat, repeat everywhere. Mm -hmm. We don't, there's something here about you not having clarity on something to do with some kind of partnership. For some of you, it's work. For some of you, it's home. Uh, there's some kind of a partnership. You're trying to see something clearly about, you are going to have a new beginning. This new beginning that's coming in, I feel like it has to do with new opportunity that's coming in. Let's look at it. Page of Pentacles. What do we need to know here? Capricorn reading, Page of Pentacles. We have Queen of Pentacles reversed, Judgment reversed, and Six of Wands reversed. What on God's 
Earth. We have the King and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. We have the King and the Queen of Swords reversed. It's crazy. So there's been an upsetment around your, like, so your, your King and Queen of Swords, King and Queen of Pentacles are the same person, I feel. Or same two people, I'm sorry. Uh, they're a partnership, but I don't know who that King of Wands is that's popping in here. Um, I feel like there's something going on. I feel like you've waited for this. This new opportunity that's coming in. You didn't think this was coming or you didn't feel like this was going to be successful for some reason. Um, let's look at the drama around it. The five of wands reversed. What do we need to know? What What is the most important? Yeah, absolutely. Look again, again, the, the ten of cups feels like this four of wands here. And again, the devil, but this devil is reversed just like that devil. I feel like you're, um, there, you're releasing a lot of drama. It has to do with home and family. For a few of you, it has to do with work. Oh, look, spirit's like, yeah, for half of you. <laughs> All right. For half of you, it's about work. For the others of you, it has to do with home and family. For some of you, this is something going on at work that has caused trouble for you at home as well, maybe financially, because, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, she has this, like, see how she's there with her t treasure chest? It's in reverse with the Six of Wands reverse and Judgment reverse. This all feels like I haven't been successful around this situation. But Spirit says, don't worry. What you ha don't know, what you don't see coming is that there's something brand new coming in for you. You've been hanging on to this other thing. And Spirit's like, no, release that one because that one's history. There's something new coming in. And once you release this thing, let's look at it. I want to look at the devil reversed with the four of, one, or four of pentacles in the upright. I'm sorry. Four of pentacles in the upright with the devil reversed. These are opposing energies. I feel like you're meant to release something and then something new comes in. Tell me about the four of pentacles here with the devil reversed. What should we know about it for Capricorn? This is your energy here. What do we need to know? Yeah, look at this. Look. Oh my goodness. Three of swords, four of cups, tower. You feel like there is no fixing this. There's no, you lost out. You missed out. You're devastated. But spirit says, have strength here to release something. Yes, you got three of swords. This is painful. Yes, you feel like you missed out on something four cups disappointed you're disappointed i saw that over here i'm seeing it here again but spirit is saying look yeah this tower happened you did miss out on something something happened here that you feel you feel it was not successful you feel like you missed out you feel like you were um depleted of something here and spirit says pull on your inner strength and release this old thing because when you release this thing that you've been holding on to, it's going to change the energy and you're going to receive this new energy. I want to look at the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups here. Can we get a look at the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups together here? Capricorn reading. Oh, it flew right out of the deck. Three of, uh, no, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups flew right out of the deck in the reverse. So whatever this is, it has to do with this Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, all this disappointment, drained energy everywhere I look. Give me another one on the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Just the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. What is it we need to know about those two cards? Page of Pentacles... Oh my gosh, absolutely. Look at this. The seven of wands and the nine of wands. The two cards where you protect yourself. Spirit says if you let your guard down, you actually can come into a better energy. There could be a change here. All right, the change really has to do with, it really has to do with you seeing something clearly. This sits at the bottom of your deck, the king of swords and the high priestess reversed seeing something from another perspective seeing something clearer something you could not see before clearly and it has to do with your home your family your um partnership it doesn't have to be some of you it's a work partnership remember this is a 50 50 split reading no matter how i look at it and spirit keeps reminding me of that 
some of you are we're talking about like a business or work environment and some of you were talking about your home your family your personal relationship um there's something here if you would let the guard down in this situation you can transform all this drained energy i want to look at what comes next if you're to let your guard down now what does this mean this means letting your guard down to let in new this doesn't mean letting someone back in that might have done you dirty or you know not that i have that here in front of me but what i have here is ending an old cycle and stop defending yourself and protecting yourself to the point where you're blocking there's a block in place here um if you would allow for it to come in you have page of pentacles and um you also have this beautiful ace of cups this is new energy wanting to come into your situation does this mean you're taking somebody back from the past no 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 please don't be triggered don't get crazy don't spout out stuff like that no don't speak it if you don't want it right this is really about new 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 page of pentacles a new opportunity for those of you looking for something in your work environment ace of cups new opportunity for those of you looking for something you're going to love or maybe even someone you're going to love okay so keep this in mind this is new trying to come in if you'll release and when we say release we mean not i don't know if there is somebody from the past you haven't fully released and that's okay if you haven't that's normal when you're hanging on to old energy um, so you're just going to work on releasing the old energy, but for some of you, it's really about letting your guard down long enough to let someone in. Um, this could just be a friendship. This could be a new work environment. This could be a new partnership of some kind. It doesn't have to be love unless you want love. This could be a new best friend. This could be a new, um, environment in of some way that you're going to allow yourself to step into instead of feeling the fear of i can't i'm afraid um i know it's not easy after you've gone through ten of swords three of swords and you know this um drained energy a lot of drained energy going on and a lot of disappointment in this reading showing us of what was and what you need to release all right, so let's just take another couple cards here. What do we need to know if Capricorn or whoever is watching were to let their guard down and to allow this new energy in, this Page of Pentacles, this Ace of Cups? What's next? To allow the change, the death and the rebirth. This is a death and a rebirth. To allow the change to happen. Five of The five card, the tree. To let yourself have this sense of uh, fulfillment and allow this change what would happen if whoever is watching this reading lets their guard down and allows new 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 to come in what's next wow wow oh boy all right so look at that that was at the bottom of the deck judgment star ten of wands and look at what happens you don't carry the tens anymore. You end up with the ace of wands in your hand. Wish fulfillment. This is what you're being guided to do. Archangel Gabriel is here like, yes, 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 please. We need Phoenix rising from the ashes here. We need the death and the rebirth and the renewal here. Um, I feel as though you'll go down a brand new path. Your path will be shown to you. Look at the two of wands, the path. Yes, it could be with another person or maybe not, but it will be shown to you with the sun here. This is at the bottom of your deck. Um, Spirit says, absolutely allow this change. Even if it's difficult, even if you feel like you, you're not sure. Look how the strength card's like, no, I can't. I can't let go. I can't let it go. Just like the four of pentacles here in spheres to have the strength to let it go the the devil reverse allow yourself to purge it just to see what will happen so you have nothing to lose if this is your reading because you've been um in a very disappointing drained energy not seeing something clearly and feeling um really like you're holding on to something that really isn't in your highest good but whatever this if this reading is your reading and you feel like this is your reading uh it's time to purge it so that you can and let your guard down purge the old and say i'm open to receive page of pentacles ace of cops star um the ace of wands 
uh, I'm open to receive this because as soon as you purge this, you throw all those burdens that have been holding you down and holding you back from your destiny, from your star, from your judgment here. Everything that's been holding you back is something you've been hanging on to. So Spirit says, take that bundle of whatever it is. For each of you, it's probably something totally different and throw it off your back. And when you do, you hang on to your aces. You hang on to your ace of cups, your ace of wands, your star. And Spirit says, we've got you. Um, this really is a reading of purging something. There's something here to be purged if this is your reading. Okay. All right, Capricorn, I hope this makes sense to someone. And if it helps one person, I am grateful. So if you could, please do let me know if you feel this is your reading and if it helps in any way for you to see this, hear this, and understand it a little more. Also, guys, please don't forget to like this reading and keep your section growing on this channel. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, your, I'm trying to think of what's already come out. Your finance reading is probably out by now. So you can always check that out. Also, don't forget to check out your last week's weekly readings and your monthly readings. Your monthly readings are coming up in a matter of a few days. Okay. If you're seeing this reading, that means within the next week, you're going to be seeing monthly readings, probably even sooner than that. You'll see monthly readings start coming out little by little. Okay. All right, guys, have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.